Welcome to Mike Ferry TV. This is Tony Smith here, Vice President of the Mike Ferry Organization, and I am thrilled to death to spend a few minutes with you today. And I'm really thrilled about the topic that I wanted to cover with you on uh, Mike Ferry TV today. Do you need to set goals? More importantly, do you need to achieve goals that you set? You know, it's been said by Mike, it's been said by Earl Nightingale, it's been said by a lot of people that most of the universe is walking around without any goals at all. And they walk around without really setting or achieving many goals. Everything happens kind of by default instead of by design. So first you have to ask yourself, where am I running my business or my life that way by default instead of by design? If we don't design some things and achieve them, then we tend to stay in the status quo. If you're completely happy where you are right now, that's great and I love it and I hope that many of you are. If you're not completely happy where you are right now, your ability to set and achieve goals is a big part of the process. You know, I wrote down, the best way to predict your future is to invent it daily. Let me repeat that. The best way to predict your future is to invent it daily. Goal setting is a process of inventing your future rather than just letting it happen to you. And you have to recognize, do you want to reinvent your future? Do you want to start inventing your future one day at a time? Well, there's a process and there's a process that I get so excited about because Mike Ferry shared this with all of us. Maybe you've heard it before. Maybe you need to hear it again. But Mike has shared with us this process about goal setting and he has a goal setting system. So if there's a system for setting goals, in fact, maybe it should be called Mike's goal achieving system. So if there was a way to achieve the goals you set for yourself, would you do it more often? Right? At this point in your life, in your career, do you have some spectacular goals in front of you that you'd like to achieve? Production goals, personal goals, financial goals, spiritual goals, family goals, mental goals, health and energy goals. Do you have some really incredible dynamic things in front of you right now that you're looking to achieve? Would you like to achieve more of them? Let's follow the system that Mike Ferry came up with to achieve goals. If there's a system for it, let's use it, okay? Now, I will share with you personally, okay, in my own personal life, there has been a whole series of goals that have been achieved by using this simple system. So, trust me on this. I know that's hard to do in today's times, but trust me on this. This is the right thing to do. So there's a little series that I want you to write down, okay? A step-by-step -step process to achieve a goal. Step A, A, decide on the things you would really like to have in life in detail, okay? Decide on the things you would really like to have in life in detail. Do you want a bigger, nicer home? Can you decide on that in detail? I want a th between three and 4,000 square foot home in the Brentwood area. I want it to be on a large lot with a three car garage. I'd love to have a pool in the background, in the backyard. I need a three car garage. I really want to have it professionally decorated and landscaped from front to back. Can you, can you describe it in detail? That's A. B, write it out in detail. What is it that you want to achieve? It can be something from a small thing to a great big huge thing. Write it out in detail. Can you put the description in the detail? You know, the house I want, the color I want it to be, the way I want it to look. Can you put that in detail? You know you can if you take the time to do it. C. List all of the obstacles and the solutions to those obstacles. List all of the obstacles and the solutions to those obstacles. So, I want this house. I want it to be in Brentwood. I want it to be 3,500 square feet. I want the pool. I want, this is what I want as a goal. Obstacle. I need more money, okay? I need to generate the down payment. What is the solution for the down payment? You write out the solution in detail. Obstacle, I need to improve my monthly income to get my income up to a level where I could afford that home. 
you you write that down and you write out in detail what you need to do. Write the, write the steps down. What do you need to do? What's the solution to more income? Right? I need to talk to my, my lender and find out what do I need to do to get in a position financially to be able to do this. I need to talk to my financial planner. I need to talk to my family at home and make a plan for this so we can all decide that that's what we want to do. There's, there's obstacles, but there are solutions for those obstacles. So on C, you list out all the obstacles and the solutions. Right? D, set deadlines for all the steps. So, okay, this week, by Friday this week, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to talk to the family about this, my dream and this goal that we have of buying a house in Brentwood. And we want to do that, right? And, and I wanted to sit down and describe it. I'm going to get that done this week. Deadline. By a week from Friday, I want to talk to my lender and I'm really going to sit down with my lender and have him give me a step-by-step -step description of the income required, the down payment required, what I need to do financially, right? Whatever the steps are, could you literally set deadlines for them all? Yes, you could set deadlines on it, okay? Uh, e, put action items in logical order. So now you've got this, you've got the, it's in writing, you've decided the goal, you've got a list of the challenges and the solutions, you've got this whole series of action steps that need to be done and you put them in logical order right? There's, you know, we need to decide more on the neighborhood that we want to live in in Brentwood. We want to decide specifically that. Maybe that action step is in front of the action step of, you know, um, start putting $5,000 a month in savings to get come up with the down payment. Do you see where I'm going with this? And now you have the action items, but they're in logical order. They're in logical order, right? F, visualize the goal daily. So what we recommend that you do is you create some kind of a visual. If you don't have a dream board, you're missing the boat. Okay, so many people resist the idea of creating a dream board, taking the, and getting visual photographs, getting pictures, getting things that represent the goals they have and get them in a visual way. So many people resist that and I can't figure out why. If Wealthy people that achieve a lot of goals believe that that's a good idea for you to make a dream board, something visual. Why would you not do it? Does it make you uncomfortable to put a goal up in front of you? Right? Does, would it bother you if somebody walked by and saw, hey, what's that beautiful house there? What's that all about? No, I have a goal to buy that house. I'm going to buy a home like that. Does that bother you to be challenged like that? Actually, the reverse is true. When you put it out there and you put it in a visual way and you publish it and you post it in front of you, you start putting into action, the world starts to go in your direction, right? People walk by, they ask, you look at it every day. You, you know, maybe you have a dream book and every day you open it and you look at that home and you visualize it and you see yourself there. Can you see yourself walking in the front door of that new home? New car, whatever your goal is. Can you see yourself sitting in that new car and what it would be like to put the top down and drive it? Can you see yourself debt free, having no debts? You don't owe anybody anything and it's a goal of yours to be debt free. Do you see yourself having, you know, having five deals close a month? Can you visualize that outcome? You know, all the professional athletes in the world, they've been trained to visualize the outcome. Golfers can see a great golf shot. Basketball players visualize the three pointer going in. And so, should we start visualizing it? It creates, it creates urgency and creates desire, right? Creates you, you know, motivation to go do the action steps. So you gotta have the visualize, visualization, right? And then G, be persistent. Don't quit because you had a bad day. You know, some of the goals that we have, that we set, don't come true because of one setback. You know, you set a design up. I want to get a new house in Brentwood and you get in. You, you're so clear and you're so excited about what you want to achieve. And then you have one setback. You have a couple of bad listing months or you have a couple deals fall out of escrow or you have some little, you know, something bad happens, one little setback. And then that setback pulls you completely off the idea of having that home or that car or that debt free or whatever it is. We can't let one setback stop us. Are you thinking that a really good goal is just going to happen without any struggles whatsoever? 
If it's worthwhile to you, it's probably going to have some struggles. You've got to find a way to continue to be persistent. So you get set back. Maybe you reprioritize the action steps. Maybe there's a new challenge that you have to overcome. So on the challenges, you add a new challenge and a new solution. That doesn't mean you give in on it. You keep after it because the goal can be achieved. And then you follow this process. This process works. It will work for you like it's worked for me, like it's worked for Mike. It will work for you if you'll put it into action. I would love to see everybody watching this. Um, first of all, what is your most important, most exciting goal that you have right now? And then secondly, would you run it through the Mike Ferry goal achieving system? You do that and I would be excited to know that, okay? Stay tuned with these things. We really enjoy that you're watching Mike Ferry TV. Uh, if there's anything you need from us, you can find us easy right on the website, mikeferry.com. Thank you so much for your time today.